So this is a little demo that I typically do for the people that come here wondering what Previs is all about. Normally it begins with this kind of simple character that we build from various pieces and texture. We'll just take that character and rig it up. There are a special rigging system, but if we have um, it built in segments so that there's no actual skinning going on so that we can keep these guys running around very quickly. So then we'll apply either an animation cycle we've created or something that we do from the, from the motion capture. And so of course, then you can go and give this guy a friend. And this is how we begin to build up the sequence. And then the director will start to ask, okay, where are they standing? Where's, what's the environment? So we end up building this whole location to scale. So actually when you go all the way out, you see that this is topographically accurate. It's the real scale of the real environment. So that if the director wants to look in um, any different direction, they're seeing the correct heights of all of the landmarks. Then I'll just add a few effects. This particular shot required some pyrotechnics. So we actually ended up going and consulting with the pyrotechnics guys to make sure that the the scale of the of the explosions was correct so even though they're just a bunch of still images we end up getting the accurate scale of what these these explosions would be but the first thing that i need to do before it becomes a shot is actually look at it through a camera so here are the guys running through the shot this is how we initially compose the scene and then we decided, you know what, let's do an alternate angle. So we just quickly threw in another, another view. And this is the same action, but played out as just a pan tilt as opposed to a dolly shot. So you can get a lot of great different camera moves out of the same action. Next up, uh, I want to show you how we add some extra realism to the camera itself. First of all, we select the camera, and then we have all kinds of controls. Um, in this case, I'm going to turn on the handheld control, and I can amp this up so that now, instantly, I see the same action but with uh, a bit more shake on it, so it feels more realistic, especially great for these kinds of action sequences. Once the scenes are approved, we end up taking a look at this from a completely different perspective. Can we actually do this shot? And in the case, of um, this particular shot, they decided, well, let's just start shooting this on a green screen. And so how this actually works is we can take a look in Maya at the volume of the sound stage. And we've brought in, of course, all of the gear, the, the lights, the, the camera equipment. So when we're looking at the shot on set, we can make sure that we have the right size green screen and that all of the technical pieces are working. Now you'll notice here in the beginning that one of the actors is stepping on this kind of red dolly track that we have there. So what we need to do is make sure that we kind of move this over and we can, we can place that wherever we need it to be. And our camera rigs work in reverse. So right now this is giving me a certain solution it's all driven by the creative camera, but the actual uh, rig just follows along. So if I wanted to take this rig and in Maya change the trajectory of the rig, I could scoot it over this way so it's out of the shot. The, creatively, the shot is going to be the same, but at least we know now where best to put all of the gear. So the last part of the story here is once we've got the creative worked out, we've got a plan for how to shoot it effectively, then we need to make sure that we communicate that to the clients. So uh, we give them all these different views and usually encapsulate it into one particular drawing, um, a page that we can give to the production managers or the producers so that they can uh, keep track of how each of these shots was created digitally but it's not to take anything away from what the real cinematographers would do when they step out onto the set, but at least that they've brought the right camera crane, the, um, uh, all of the gear that they need to make sure that they effectively 
um, have all the tools to produce the shot. 